This vehicle is getting harder and harder to look out of during the rain. So join me today as I take care of that problem. You can clearly see that the rear wiper requires some attention. But the front wipers need some attention as well. This smearing is particularly annoying as it's right in the line of sight. So let's begin with the rear wiper. There are no special tools required for this removal. I just lift the arm and snap the pivot rod out of its seat. It's quite clear that this blade is no longer able to do its job, so I will be replacing it with a new wiper refill that I got at the dealership. To remove the damaged insert, I pull the very end down to clear the end tab that limits the blade travel. The new insert is only a piece of rubber. This requires me to remove the two steel spring strips from the old part and insert them into the slots of the new blade refill. Once both spring strips have been installed, it's just a matter of threading the refill into the blade frame. This close-up shows a small pin next to the pivot rod in the wiper frame. This is the seat that the pivot rod snaps into, and this is a channel that the small pin rides in. I'm matching up the rounded end of the wiper arm with the rounded opening in the frame. The frame connects to the arm with a solid snap and that's all there is for the rear wiper fix. Definitely an improvement. The front wipers are a little different from the rear. This is a locking tab that pivots out of the way to allow the blade frame to detach from the wiper arm. Once the lock has been moved, the frame needs to be pushed down towards the windshield to remove it from the arm. I purchased two refills, but it is important to note that there is a size difference between the left side and the right side. It's quite obvious to see that these are shot as well. There is a locking tab on the frame that fits into this valley on the refill and that will limit the movement of the refill once in place. There is also a tab in this slot on one end only. This is the other end with no tab, so this is the direction that the refill will be fed into the frame. Just the same as the rear insert, the steel spring strips need to be switched over to the new part.
Installation of the newly filled frame is just the opposite of the removal steps. And, just like the rear, the view out of the front windshield has improved significantly. Thank you for joining me today in front of the red door.